Hi, this is Kevin. Uh, I made a short little tutorial on uh, how to find these points, and I just wanted to show it a little bit through Google Earth and kind of show you what's going on here. So uh, here's our key went on. Uh, all the green ones are ones are spots I've already been to. Um, red ones are potential spots or ones that I've already marked off as being hazardous or private property or something. So um, one of the three locations I'm going to show you real quick is based out of. I think we're staying. Uh, Oopsie. I think you guys are saying out of the gay, probably right about here. Yep, right here. Okay. Um, you guys are probably camping here, which is kind of cool. Um, if you go into town, and I believe the bar is right at this corner, if I'm not mistaken, uh, head up this way and head off on Mohawk Road. Um, first spot that I never touched was spot zero, actually. And. There might have been a reason I didn't record this. I just actually marked this on here. Um, but I'm trying to pick places that are pretty close. But like looking in here, it looks like this could be swampy or wet. If this is a swamp, then yeah, don't pop in there because it'll be really disgusting and gross. Um, but there's a potential site where we might have four good trees or eight. Um, but the one place I wanted to get into is off of this place called um, Gagnon Road. Um, but I have it marked off of the gate here, which is why I couldn't get my Jeep through here. Um, but if you pull off to the side of the road here, and I have all the coordinates for you, I just wanted to show this through on Google Earth in case you didn't have it. Um, if you go up through here, here's our first spot. Um, and I took a picture of this earlier. So if you look at the picture, uh, a little road here, this is good. I would definitely head in at things at straight angles. If you go by the nearest point, like here, and head in at a 45 degree angle, it's very easy to get turned around and lost and getting your bearings out. But if you go straight north, once you're in here, you just have to write it down and remember, like head straight south, right back onto your road. It makes it very easy to get out. Um, you don't want to get lost in here because even a very small distance in, you get really, really turned around. Um, if we take a measurement here, I try to keep these relatively short. So this is only about 0 .07. So that's not too far in at all. So even if you have dense woods, you'll you'll be pretty good. okay. Um, and then once you're in this spot, um, this is grid lined. You'll take your nearest tree in every direction, um, as long as it's greater than 7 centimeters. Um, if your first tree turns out to be 15, it's the only, like 15 centimeters in diameter, it's the only one you need to do. Um, if we go down here and we have the one that's 10, you'll then go to the next one that's, a, you'll do a second tree that's at least 12.5 basically. So you could have anywhere between four and eight trees. And I wrote them all in the directions here, and I'll kind of, you can read through them. And if you have any questions, just email me back. All right, um, there's spot one. Keep going up this road. Hopefully you're pretty clear. Just keep following it up, plugging your next GPS spot. Here's spot two. It's right off the main road, so you'll kind of almost head straight uh, west from there. Zoom out a little bit. Here's our third spot. Same thing a little bit west fourth spot straight west. Um, right here looks like we have a bridge crossing. Um, yeah, and you can actually see the bridge right in there. So if you're taking a four wheeler you should be all set. Um, <coughs> took my Jeep across a few of these even though I told you not to, but I was I was good, so you should be fine on a four four wheel on an off roader or something. And as soon as you're across the river it looks like it splits up here. And where's our next point? Oh, so, we don't want to do this and go across the river again, that'd be dumb. So, before you cross the river, it looks like they got a trail heading right, right before you get to the river, which heads out this direction, and then straight north. So there's, there's our point five, and then we're right back this way. Um, I highly recommend leaving your GPS on the entire time, and also having an extra set of batteries. <clears throat> um, I'm going to give younger mine in case you want to try mine out, but mine works great. Uh, but it, it'll record everything, basically. So once you've been zigzagging through the woods, you'll, you can basically follow your trail all the way back. Just turn it on, and you can't get lost, and it's nearly impossible. Um, but if you're just zigzagging through all these these roads back here, there's there's plenty of roads that you can get turned around on and confused on, and, and there's nobody out there. So definitely make sure you keep your GPS on the entire time. So if you get turned around, you can follow your way back. All right, um, once you're across the bridge, a little bit north. Our six point is right there, not far at all, so that should be a really easy one. 
um, back down this way right after the split make a right hand turn and this one's a little bit further but we got a little bit of a distance right here to 0.7 back to 6 kind of pass it up again you might want to just do this one first and then there's two up here so I think Younger said past here the road kind of narrows out um, and we might not have the best track but the last two points one really close to here is 8 you can kind of see they almost always do this, the lines go out straight this way, straight this way, straight this way, so off the main road. But it, you never know from this Google image when the last time they logged these were. So um, I went down plenty of roads like this that were just kind of like almost little very, very long skinny prairies. So it's kind of cool just kind of driving through all these grasses. Uh, do go incredibly slow because you don't want to hit a dead log or any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but there's a path right here which make a really easy passage to, to 9. So <clears throat> I'll give you the GPS points, and you kind of just plug one right in after the other, and those are the first nine points, basically. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we have our pink lines load back in. Come on, township lines. There they go. Um, right at four if there's a marker, because it's one of our corners to 5731, 5730, 5631, and 5630. So right there, I, 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 if I would have to guess, I'm, I'm thinking you might find a, a corner point there, because it's right in between four, four large points. Um, so that's the first set of data. Second one, and I'm going to turn a few things off to make this easier to see. So let's turn our grid lines off. Yeah. Um, it's right through here. It's this uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, so, and I'm just I'm just going to show you potential things. I tried that one out first because I think that if you can get as long as you get past this gate, I think that's a really good easy set of nine that you can do. Um, but if we head up this way, past where you're staying on Gay Lock Lavelle Road, and <clears throat> yeah, I did a few points in here, so I did one right here. Um, so there's a road here, and I'll mark this off and say starting location, but turn into here, head up this way, there's a few roads that go back into here. I think, if I remember correctly, something back here said private property, no entrance, and that's my, and if you see that, then it's Younger's call, and you, you might not want to take any of these roads up, because I uh, want to make sure we're good on everything, but um, I can't remember for sure, but in case, I just don't remember seeing these, but if you follow, I'm going to do that again. So it kind of runs parallel to here, so you make a left off the road, follow this up. And I believe these are two ponds on either side, and I believe I went this way. I think I didn't go this way. This could be private property, but it's one I'm not quite sure. But there's a nice road that goes back through here, and it looks like all the way through here. But this would be probably an easy point to get to, so I, I called that spot 11. And then it zigzags around, meets up with this road, which one again is this is Gay Lock LaBelle. So maybe even getting in here, I don't know if there's if there's a sign here that says anything, but if you go this way, that goes to eleven. <coughs> Follow this. There's twelve. Follow this around. And right here, this looking this looks kind of thin, so this might not pan out at all. Um, Spot 13, really close to the road. Follow this up. 14, <clears throat> 15, and then this road here, 16. And you can see that pattern of just zigzagging out. Whoop, whoop, around. 17. And, yeah, this doesn't look like anything but right up here. Whew, straight down, 17. And across here, 18. And let's see, is this logging road? Yeah, looks like it might just loop all the way back down, down to here. Although, although that does look like a pond. You probably don't want to go through a pond, but that would be an easier exit than following all the way back. But that's a potential. That's site two. So there's a potential loop you could do where you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another eight points in. Okay. Um, last spot, <coughs> if I can find it, 
Um, this one I just never got to. So I did it on one day and later I marked this A, B, C, D, E. Um, so actually let me zoom out, give you a little bit better perspective. So if you're at Town of Gay, follow this road up. Here we're looking at Calumet, I believe. Well, here's 41, basically, so uh, this one's a little bit further away. Keep going up, 41, 41, 41. It's right past the Delaware Mine, so right in here. Here's the town of Delaware, or Delaware Mine. Um, and I can't remember if this road has a name or not. Yep, here we go. S-O-T-A-L-A, -A, Satala Road? So I think it right onto Satala Road. And I was on it because I did a point there. But follow this down. And I'll give you all the coordinates. But this wraps down here. And here's our first point A. Now this looks like a river. Depending on how wet or dry, it might be really easy to hop across it. It might not. So um, don't kill yourself in the middle of the woods over getting one tree point. So, um, But it looks close to the road. But if this you don't want to, yeah, <laughs> especially where it's a lot more water, <clears throat> um, elevation changes a bit more, so you don't want to be going down steep rocks and break an ankle, but um, you can take a look real quick if it looks like a point you guys can get for me, try it out, but there's there's a spot. Um, and then there's this trail right here. Yeah, don't do anything dangerous. Here's B, really close to this, this trail, and then if this loops around. Well, actually, if you follow this down this way, here's C, really close to a path. Follow it back. Cut across this way, do D. Down this direction, over, there's E. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's another additional five points. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so there's there's three basic places where you can start from. The other two are much more closer. Um, I, th I This one it might be questionable if you'd like to try it out. Um, and once again, it's all based on how many time, how much time you guys have, and and how well. But I thought I'd just show you that real quick. And those are potential sites where we can get a few more points. And, and I think we're all set. So thanks.